distance, where a man is holding a child at knife point. A woman who was taken from the flat with stab wounds has died from her injuries. The murder and subsequent siege arose from a domestic dispute. Neighbours said a man pushed his way into the third floor flat, demanding to see a woman believed to be his wife. During an argument, the owner of the flat, a young woman known as Jackie, was stabbed. She was taken to hospital but died of her injuries. The man, armed with a carving knife, is holding a four-year-old girl, Carleen, as hostage. Another child was earlier brought out through a window by police during the disturbance. Armed officers took up vantage points, but police have been trying to end the siege without further bloodshed. Gary Lloyd reporting. The annual swimming race in the Serpentine at Hyde Park in London has gone ahead in the comparatively mild weather. The organisers call it the only official sporting event in London on Christmas Day. It was the 121st time that swimmers have gathered for a festive plunge, and this year more than 50 people completed the 100 yards race. Our late news is at 10 to 10. Now over to Bill Giles and the weather. Thanks very much. Well, there'll be plenty more water around, uh, I think, in the south as this low trundles its way up the channel. It'll be to the east of us uh, later on tomorrow, though, and that means we'll be pulling in these northerly winds. So over the next two or three days, becoming very much colder, and there will be some snow in the air. Well, there's a little bit of snow around tonight, but only over the hills down as far as northern parts of England. Further south, a lot of heavy showers, though rain, sleet, or, or rather uh, hail and thunder around. Uh, and I think a good number of them continuing right the way through uh, the nighttime period there. A pretty cold night in the far north, as you can see with a touch of frost and some strong winds too. Now in Scotland, a brighter day tomorrow with some sunshine, but a cold one with snow showers, especially on the eastern side. And that brighter weather coming down into northern England as we go through the day, but a little bit of uh, sleet and snow turning on the hills further south. Right down in the south, another day much as today, a cloudy day with a lot of heavy showers around, some hail and thunder mixed in them once more. Temperatures a little lower than they have been today, I think, uh, but nonetheless still quite cold. That's it. Bye-bye. Well, this is it. I've finally arrived at the Carrington Mansion, home of the Denver Dynasty. They're all going to be here for Christmas night. That's Blake and Crystal, old Dominique and Amanda, Jeff and Dex, and many, many more. And they're keeping a place for me and you. So join me for Christmas with the Carringtons, 10 o'clock, Christmas night. Well, far from the tinsel and glitter of Denver, in an hour the Trotter family hoof it to Hullenback after being asked to deliver diamonds from Amsterdam in a special Christmas edition of Only Fools and Horses. But now BBC One, for the first of a new series, a jewel in the camp of Maplins brings a sparkle to those who rally us with the cry, Heidi, hi. Christmas on BBC One includes Paul Newman as a man fighting to prove his innocence and Sally Field as a newspaper reporter in Absence of Malice. I'm Michael Gallagher. Where'd the story come from? I want to know every nickel he's got and how he got it. I want this guy to know we're in town. We may say whatever we like about Mr. Gallagher, and he is powerless to do us harm. Democracy is served. Are you all right? See, you say somebody's guilty, everybody believes you. You say he's innocent. Nobody cares. I'm free every night but Friday. How about Friday? Okay. You write about everybody being investigated? man who invented the shoulder pads. This is it, I suppose. The crowning glory to a wonderful day. Like all wonderful days, it has to come to a close. So I suppose I'd better be on me weary way. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Christmas with the Carringtons as much as I have. I've got to get lickety split to Denver Airport and back to be with you on Friday live at 7. Enjoy the rest of Christmas evening and Boxing Day. See you Friday, 7 o'clock.
BBC One and Barry Norman comes clean about that American creation, the soap opera. In Britain, we've long been accustomed to nighttime soaps, Dallas, Dynasty, Coronation Street, the East Enders. But what we don't have is the daytime soap, running one hour a day, five days a week, every week. You're marrying a 22-year-old virgin. Dangerous. Takes on a whole new meaning. The man in the hand-me-down wig is black, trying to pass for white. God, I love you. Is his wife in for a surprise on their wedding night? You need uh, one woman who has an illegitimate child or an illegitimate pregnancy that will end in miscarriage or abortion before the child is born. And you need a villain and a villainess. And they desperately want to be loved. Barry Norman's Guide to American Soaps is at 10.25 on Saturday on BBC One. We've a film to round off Christmas evening on BBC One in which the pace, pressures and power of the press come to bear on Paul Newman and Sally Field. Receiving its first showing on British television, we present Absence of Malice.